Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty. Time to defend another haven, Fort non Helima, in, I think it was Canada, Northern Canada, kind of the Newfoundland uh, coast. And that is very famous and known for alien activity. Attacking strength 22, nothing to be trifled with, but we also get quite a few rewards. My concern is we uh, only do have limited soldiers with us. In Manticore 4, it's not only our third team, it's actually our fourth team. It's the one that I'm experimenting with, with those slightly funny builds. Oh boy. Okay, well, hmm. Let's take a look. Effective range 45. Effective range 45. This is piercing at 130. This does not. 10 ammo. 10 ammo. It seems like this is a straight up upgrade to the other one. Also looks like a pretty big gun. Okay, in terms of armor, we got everything with the exception of a proper helmet. Yeah, this team is still suffering from chronicle underfunding. 12 perception and stealth, and here we do have at least a bit of accuracy. Good. I mean. Whew. This guy here is not going to break a lot of armor. Let's put an extra med kit in. Just to be sure. Um, we have decent equipment. My only concern here is yet not enough firepower. Ammo capacity, so it's 44 shots, that should be enough. But where is our armor penetration, right? So we got Ankit, that is part of our armor uh, penetration. Sadly enough, that's like the only or well, one of the few armor penetrations uh, penetrations that we do have i think we will need a lot of war shouts so i will invest in his willpower that way he just can shout more often refresh and overall be better decent weapons as a purification grenade. Yeah, just not the fu uh, Fury missile launcher. That stinks. Good, we do have armor penetration here, shredding. And I think what would be helpful is just more ammo. I believe we're going to run out of ammunition. This is going to be, if it is a 22 strength map, it might as well be a really, really strong uh, set of opponents. So we could go with less shredding, six instead of eight, but I don't think that's the way to go. We need shredding a lot. So rather more than less. 
Carlos does have his like little arm that spits out goo. But a grenade would not be a bad idea. This is poison. Poison is not shredding. This here does shred 10. So we do have options. Pistol isn't great, but what else are we going to uh, to do? Can't really give him anything else. Most of that requires two hands to use. So that's a non-starter to begin with. Pistols are really the only thing that I could think of besides melee weapons, which we will get with him later. Good, I don't know if this ammo here will be enough. He has pistols and PDWs. Certainly not going to give him a PDW. This thing here deals 60 points of damage. A pistol deals 50, but has a much lower effective range. The spider drones could be our uh, solution. He can deploy three of them. And really what could happen, since we do have handgun accuracy here, why not take a handgun instead? It's really similar damage. Uh, the only difference here is with that handgun we're looking at 12, 36 ammunition instead of, yeah, just 12. We'll take more spider drones like way more these here are 12 and that will be our our path to success just spam spider drones right 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 um another grenade Okay, so that's the idea so far, whether or not that's going to work, we're going to see in a second. All right, we landed and we got a New Jericho Haven here. 22 is defender strength. That is a lot, that is attacker's strength. That is, that is a lot. Let's so frenzy. Oh, look at that. We got a heavy over I was here. Born ready. Getting our sniper move in position. Not good. A Skrilla. I was sort of expecting it, so not the biggest of surprises. Getting into cover. My turn. We do have um, a war cry here. Check this out. So that might be helpful for us. I'm repositioning. Here they come. Well, well, well. Okay, we got a technician on the other side over here. I wonder, do they come with a turret? I sure hope so. Isabella moves up. Pushing on. And pushes on as she admits herself. Taking action. And look, if we were to fire that, that could be a bit of a game changer. The artillery immediately done. Well, not immediately, but you know what I mean. Oh, nice. We hit 
the thriller as well. Places down the turret. Moves over. And begins to hit that prime. Slowly but surely. We need more bodies on the floor. I was born ready. Okay. Reloading. Let's jump into cover. Carlos here. Has very low armor thing, uh, but does have uh, the uh, poison. I want to try that poison cannon, but not in, in the first round, and most certainly not when we're standing in the open. Anyway, maybe we can get one of On these it. guys down. Enemy engaged. Okay, torso disabled. That's a start. And kit jumps over. I do have a good idea. I hope it is a good idea. I do have an idea. Yeah, it's a good idea. Triple war cry, that will be super valuable. That guy can't really move and those two have lost their actions immediately. Oh yeah. Okay, that was worth it. Killed one in the first round. And here we go. That's actually a relatively successful first turn. The Skrilla is the biggest problem. And their scream itself just makes it so much worse. We need to spread out. It's good that we haven't clustered up. The Dazing Scream has hit two. Imagine if it hits like five. That would almost take our entire action economy away. I think he killed the spider. Ah, not good. Hitting the Skrilla nicely. I would say we're still focusing on that acid worm here. Skrilla is next, but for now, acid worm has the highest priority. But our spiders are moving up, mainly because I want to offer additional targets. Not sure if I want to explode the prime here. I definitely am sure that I want to war scream all three.
I could see this here working out well. Another incendiary grenade, just sealing off that entire corridor. <clears throat> Before we do that, though. Let's reduce the hit points of this guy. On my team. Cidery grenades are so good. Oh yeah. He's bleeding. And is taking a lot of damage. So... Moving up into a really good position. Oh, I like it. 50, uh, 50 poison doesn't seem much at the, uh, the beginning, but keep in mind with those bigger entities, like it's ticking every single turn. So next turn, if we get a full set of actions, that would be huge. Here's a little trick I know. Spider drone pack. Just getting more bodies on the field. Can't shoot again with a spider drone. But we can we could put a decoy up. Uh Rolling. Putting ourselves into a safe spot. Moving. And I tell you what, bastard. Let me catch my breath. Heals themselves. Next turn is still a good option I'll to keep my go eyes on. Open. In my sights. Next time you're mine. Anything that moves, die. Okay, well, I think that was a good turn. <laughs> oh, yeah, please move through the fire. This guy does now have a disabled leg and bleeds. Oh yeah, we're doing we're doing good with um, our combat setup at the moment. I think I got a spider drone near those two. Yeah, trying to paralyze the machinery there. Funny. Uh, the sniper shots, on the other hand, are not so funny. Okay, so, a couple of things, right? Number one. Moving up all the way so that we're not taking fire away. I think that could be worth it. Oh yeah, disabled both of the legs. That is fine. Disabled both of the legs here as well. That is great. Spider drones are putting in work. I 
I know the other guy is, is here. Question is, do we want... Nah, we're, we'll just let the spider drone sit there. I was born ready. Switching out. Okay. So we can't shout again, which means Just we're recovering. Need to catch my breath. My turn. Instead, we're aggressively moving up and are hitting everyone with War Scream. War Scream is such a good ability. All right, retrieve turret. Here I come. Yeah, next turn. Next turn, we're going to move up, place the turret somewhere over here, maybe, and then we can freely shout, shoot, and shout. Yeah. Targeting. Okay, interesting that we had a line of sight when we really did not have a line of sight. Isabel just waits there for a moment. That's fine. What I would want to do is... Hit the guy. I might have underestimated the poison. I mean, it's not immediate damage, but look, he's poisoned for 240, which means we just need to survive long enough. <clears throat> and that guy takes 270 points of damage every single turn. That's massive. Just give the word. Yeah, I think we're just going to hit it a little bit for a few points of damage. Overwatching. Moving up to have a better line of sight. And funnily enough. We're disabling the sniper even On further. Good. It feels like we're having a really strong position on the map. Lots, lots of um, objects that we spawn. The spider drones are good in a sense that they take a lot of uh, heat off of us. That is that was not so good. He can still shoot with all of his disabilities. New Jericho moves up and deploys the turret there. Okay, cool. Well, for starters. We're shouting. And then... Time to hit uh, the very back of the creature. Belcher abdominal. 
Should have healed myself. Well, we still have I'm an here. option to kill. Let's do this. Got you covered. Okay, so shoot. Good. We're now dealing with like 400 poisoning. That's not bad. Ready. Finger on the trigger. That's as much as three actions per turn uh, take the heavy. Like that is as much as a heavy gun. Good, by the way. Successfully played yourself, my friend. Lots of spider drones walking up in all the directions. Receiving. On my way. Okay, not a hundred percent sure how that tree works. It blocked. It felt like it blocked a lot of shots. Overwatch. <coughs> but okay. <coughs> we have the Skrilla nicely under control. Now this is going to hurt, like a lot. 300, nice. But apparently we can't shift over actions. Don't have the ability yet. But the technician has a PDW. So that's a lot of extra damage as well. Do we still have war screams up here? Yes, we do. Moving to position. And kid the doubter moves up. Killing the frenzy. The good part about the poison is it seems to hit even if uh, we hit armor. 570 should die now.
Good. Now, spider drones relentlessly march towards the targets. Cool, everybody got the willpower back. This mission really worked very well. Cool. Overwatch, I think back here. It's just going to be the classical heal ourselves. And get into a better position, Overwatch. Anything that moves, dies. Isabella. Good. I think we're good. <clears throat> Standing by. appears if uh, as if one of them would have already left us <coughs> and just fled in panic spider drones by the way so much damage No bueno. Gotta be uh, quick. We're putting the operatives that we do not own at risk, not the ones that we do own. Let's do this. But I don't want to kill them because there's a good chance that maybe one of them actually joins us. And that would be awesome. Wow, that defense went way better than I expected. The team was coming nicely together, and I must say, I'm positively surprised about that poison uh, gun. Definitely a good alternative. Can't use it for Overwatch though. But yeah, it seems like it is a decent pick. I wouldn't put it on, on the main team because the limitation with the two hands is just too severe. But that being said. By. I can certainly see that you could uh, create a build around uh, around the poison. Maybe even have two characters in one team that do have uh, the poison shooting, and then really stack up stack up uh, that po uh, that poison on larger enemies. They. If he had a thousand as a poison status on him, then I don't know how uh, how he would have survived very long. He only had like 3,800 hit points. So if you can just stack, ramp up these uh, counters very fast, bigger uh, things will die. But then on the other hand, if I look at the prime teams, they sometimes kill a golem or a skrilla in less than a turn i even have people left over so potentially from a uh, from a damage perspective 
Hmm. Not yet sure. I would need to calculate it through. It seems to me that it is good against high hit point targets, uh, but maybe not a strategy that you would want to stack. Got a watcher's turret out of it. And I would have really liked to get one of uh, those uh, two defenders on our side. Uh, that's a shame, man. Yeah, I think we're immediately going to go to that mission. Yeah, uh, that's the next mission. No questions asked. Let's check the rest real quick. So, personal of Tiamat. Yeah, still waiting to get their to get their abilities back. Their stamina. North America seems clear. Just really flying around to trade at this point. Maybe the crew of Manticore 4 could just go into Born of the US in the USA because they likely would get experience here. So let's get these guys and then these and then fly to born in the USA and we're flying around um, so that we could pick up soldiers whenever needed the ancient ruins are being discovered at this point yeah so that's really what's happening here and our prime team has a lot of jobs how are they doing by the way uh, after the mission they potentially would need a bit of a break since we do have one two three missions down here i would say we're killing the host we're flying back waiting until they are full again and then we're flying down <coughs> in order to do all three of the missions yep that's going to be the plan anything that i've forgotten no recruits nothing here Oh yeah, Bastard has received a level up. Uh, let's just double check. Yeah, that's Manticore 4. That is the team that we've just seen. And we wanted to have a few new class combinations. So what have we not seen yet? Sniper Priest we certainly haven't seen yet. Sniper Technician we haven't seen yet. Is that the good class combination is the question. I mean they can heal the backline. PDWs. Which are good for shooting. I could see that. Uh, they could throw out a turret uh, later in their career. The one thing that that might not work as well is snipers tend to not have the highest willpower. Hmm. Sniper infiltrator seems to be a decent combination. But like I said, we wanted different abilities for our characters this time. Sniper Berserker definitely is a good uh, combination, specifically uh, due to the armor shredding. Sniper Assault is a fantastic one. Sniper Heavy isn't bad either. Question is, do we need that or... What else do we have? Gain Mounted Weapon Proficiency. I mean, this here would ask for being a heavy.
which would allow you to fly up somewhere <clears throat> or also use a grenade launcher but then again this is team number four right so let's keep in mind that this team is not necessarily the one that gets a lot of resources it'll get the bottom of the barrel and that's what they need to work with so whatever we can muster in terms of self-sufficiency that would be good i like the weak spot because this team still has problems removing armor and that in itself is a good uh, ability I think we're going with weak spot and postpone the decision for a level up. <clears throat> not the worst, not the worst trade. Got that other active Pandora nest. Well, the other team needs to deal with it. In terms of manufacturing, we could queue up the Tiamat. cost almost all of our resources <clears throat> put actually not the right um, timing because we need to repair after each of the fights but yeah that would be team 5's aircraft and it is soon-ish after the probes of course soon-ish the right time to yeah just launch that last uh, the last vehicle I am wondering what else we need. We potentially need one more Manticore. Because team number three currently only has one Manticore and having a second one would be helpful. Of course, we could also go and build a, another Helios instead. Either way would work, really. Yeah, we got one tier mat for sure because that is going to cover an entire team although it's not really fast and i mean yeah the speed difference is is noticeable but not the end of the world and if you do have two manticores they at least can fly in synchronicity yeah, I'll think about that. Uh, team number three definitely needs another V. Uh, another uh, team number three uh, needs another uh, aircraft. But we also want to, at some point, continue building up bases, right? So I'm talking about building up this base here for ages. There's clearly an opportunity to build up a base down here. <clears throat> and I'm not even going to start with obvious choices like this one to push out all of the mist european base so yeah at the moment it feels like we're having the bare minimum in terms of bases just to cover the globe the world is quite large in this game one thing i would like to see is down here in south in south america where is the satellite link? Now that's not good. Oh, there we go, satellite uplink. Okay. The axis lift is not absolutely required. And we got a satellite link here. Uh, trainings facility, I don't think that we need in here, so might as well just scratch it for the re uh, resources. Living quarters. A med bay would not be bad but I don't want to give up so many resources. We do have a base really near with a mat base, so I don't think that it is needed, but the satellite uplink definitely and the mystery pillar. 
Wow. Which brings me to that question, where is the satellite here? Oh, 1%. Uh, they are just starting. Okay, cool. Good, guys. That's it. If you want to scan <coughs> for something important on the channel, the like button is a good start there. If you click it hard enough, it uh, might develop into a satellite uplink yourself. All right, take good, uh, take good care and see you in two days. Bye-bye.